वेलकम बैक क्लास हेयर इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ लेसन फाइव डिविजन ऑफ क्लास थ्री आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस लेसन इट टू पार्ट्स पार्ट वन इट कवर्स एक्सरसाइज फाइव ए फाइव बी फाइव सी एंड फाइव डी एंड रेस्ट इन पार्ट टू एक्सरसाइज फाइव ए फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन चेक योर आंसर बाई मल्टीप्लीकेशन फाइव एज वी ऑलरेडी नो वी कैन चेक और आंसर इज करेक्ट और नॉट बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग द स्मॉलर नंबर गेट द बिगर नंबर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिवाइड बाई नाइन इक्व टू थ्री ये ऑलवेज इन डिविजन द फर्स्ट नंबर विल बी द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर बट इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन आंसर विल बी द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर सो फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट दैट आवर आंसर इज करेक्ट और नॉट वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई the two is smaller number that is 9 and 3 so 9 3 is 27 we are getting the same number so our answer is correct in the same way we will do the second question 48 divided by 6 equals to 8 here we will multiply 6 and 8 because these are the two smaller number 6 8 ja 48 we are getting the same number so our answer is correct in the same way we will do the rest of the rest of the questions if we are getting the same number then our answer is correct now the second question find the dividend here it is written dividend is equals to divisor into quotient or in simple way I have already told you. For finding out the largest number, we have to multiply the two smaller number. So here, two smaller numbers are nine and eight. Nine eight is seventy-two. So the dividend will be seventy-two. Now in the second question, seven and nine. Nine seven is sixty-three. third question 8 and 7 8 7 is 56 now 6 7 is 42 5 5 is 25 12 5 is 60 and 6 7 is 49 exercise 5b this is a size is based on properties of division we have learned mainly three properties of division the first one is when we divide same number we get one as an answer for example here the first question 3 divided by 3 equals to 1 question number c 4 divided by 4 equals to 1 question number d 15 divided by 15 equals to 1 e 6 divided by 6 equals to 1 and question number k 7 divided by 7 equals to 1 and question number m 9 divided by 9 equals to 1 and question number n 45 divided by 45 equals to 1 now the second property when we divide any number from 1 we get same number as the answer for example question number b 30 divided by 1 equals to 30 question number f 25 divided by 1 equals to 25 question number h 20 divided by 1 equals to 20 now the third property when we divide zero from any number we get always zero as answer For example, question number G, zero divided by five equals to zero. Question number I, zero divided by six equals to zero. Question number J, zero divided by ten equals to zero. Question number L, zero divided by twenty-five equals to zero. And question number O, zero divided by ten equals to zero. Exercise five C. Question number one, divide. A 64 by 2. Here we will use 
the long division method for division of 64. So first of all we will write the table of divisor that is 2. Then one by one we will divide that is 2 3 is a 6, 6 minus 6 is 0, then 2 2 is a 4 and 4 minus 4 equals to 0. So the quotient is 32 and remainder is 0. Now the second question, question number B, 96 by 3, so again we will write the table of 3, then we will divide 96 by 3, 3 3 is a 9, 9 minus 9 is 0, then we will bring down the 6, then 3 2 is a 6, and 6 minus 6 is 0. Question number C, 84 by 4, again we will write the table of 4. Then 4 to the 8, 8 minus 8 equals to 0. Then we will bring down the 4. Then 4 1s are 4 and 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Question number D 36 by 3. We will write the table of 3. Then 3 1s are 3, 3 minus 3 equals to 0. Then we will bring down the 6 and 3 to the 6. Here the quotient is 12 and remainder is 0. Then question number E, 39 by 3. We will write the table of 3. Then 3 1 the 3, 3 minus 3 equals to 0. Then we will bring down the 9. Then 3 3 is a 9 and 9 minus 9 equals to 0. Here the quotient is 13 and remainder is 0. Then question number 8. 46 by 2. We write the table of 2. Then we will divide 46 by 2. So 2 2 is a 4. 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Then we will bring down the 6. And 2 3 is a 6. So here the quotient is 23. And the remainder is 0. Now the second question. Work out the following division sums. It means these questions are as a homework for the students but I have done this question also so if you have any doubt or if you want to match please pause the video and match with the question question number G and H question number I and J Question number K and L. Question number M and N. Question number O and P. Exercise 5D. Question number 1. Write the dividend, quotient, divisor, and remainder of the following. First question 15 divided by 3. So here the 15 is dividend, 3 is divisor and 3 5 is 15 so 5 is quotient and 0 is remainder. In the same way the second question 100 divided by 2, 2 5 is 10 because 1 is less than 2 so we will take the 2 digit in the first time. Here we are taking 2 digit so 2 5 is 10 we will subtract 10 minus 10 we will get 0 then we will bring down the 0 and 2 0 is a 0 so here 2 is divisor 100 is dividend 50 is quotient and 0 is remainder question number c 1200 divided by 4 so First of all, we will write the table, then dividend is 1200, divisor is 4, then 4 3 is 12, we will subtract 12 minus 12 equals to 0, then bring down 0, then 4 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, then again we will bring down the last 0, again 4 0 is 0 and the remainder is 0. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर डी 2840 डिवाइड बाय 5 सो हियर 2840 इज डिविडेंड 5 इज डिवाइजर वी विल राइट द टेबल ऑफ 5 देन 5 5 इज 25 बिकॉज़ 5 6 इज 30 इज मोर देन 28 सो वी विल टेक द लेसर नंबर दैट इज 25 सो 5 5 इज 25 we will subtract 28 minus 25 we will get 3 as a remainder we will bring down the 4 now 3 and 4 will become 34 34 comes here in between 30 and 35 so we will take the lesser number that is 30 so we will write 30 here now 5 6 the 30 so we will write 6 in this place now 34 minus 30 remainder is 4 Again, we will bring down the 0, 5 adds the 40 and 40 minus 40 equals to 0. So, here 568 is quotient and 0, 0 is remainder. Question number E, 180 divided by 6. Again, here 180 is dividend, 6 is divisor. So, 1 is lesser than 6, so we will take 2 digit that is 18. 18 comes here, 6 3 is 18, so we will write 3 here, 6 3 is 18, 18 minus 18, 0. Then we will bring down the 0 here, 6 0 is 0, so the remainder is 0 and question is 30. Question number F, 1391 divided by 7. Here, 1391 is dividend, 7 is divisor, then 1 is lesser than 7, so we will take 2 digit, that is 13. 13 comes in between here, 7 and 14, so we will take the lesser number, that is 7. So, 7 1 the 7, then 13 minus 7, remainder is 6. Then we will bring down the 9, then 6 plus 6 and 9, becoming 69. 69 comes in between 63 and 70. So we will take the lesser number that is 63. So 7 9 the 63. 69 minus 63 we will, the remainder is 6. Again we will bring down the 1 and 61. 61 comes in between 56 and 63. So we will take the lesser number 56. Then 7 is the 56. 61 minus 56, 5. Here the quotient is 198 and the remainder is 5. Question number G, 4488 divided by 8. So, 4488 is dividend and 8 is divisor. So, 8 5 is 40. Actually, 44 comes in between 40 and 48. So, we will take the lesser number that is 40. 8 5 is 40. 44 minus 40, the remainder is 4. Then we will bring down the 8. Now, 8 6 is 48. 48 minus 48 is 0. Now we will bring down the 8. 8 1 is 8. So the remainder is 0 and quotient is 561. Question number H 9999 divided by 9. Here, 9 1 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. And again, 9 1 is 9. Again, 9 1 is 9. And again, 9 1 is 9. So remainder is 0 and the quotient is 1111. Second question, work out the following division sums and find the quotient and remainder. It means these questions are as homework for the students, but I have done already. So if you want to check your answer, you can check question number A, B, C, D, E F G H I J K N M N O P Q R S T U V N W N X. If you want to check your answer, you want, if you want to match your answer with this, then please pause the video and match it. 